Hey y'all, Rochelle here and Karma. Um, I'm very excited about this video. This is probably also going to be a long video, so you have been warned. Um, and is only going to be about House Mouse and Stampa Rosa. So if you're not into either one of those, then you might be in the wrong video. Um, I've kind of, you know, been leading up to this. Y'all have already seen the last um, special batch that I got in and this one is about three times the size of that I'm trying to figure out how to do this because as you see karma is demanding attention because uh, I've been at work all day um, that's her she's she wants to play that's all but anywho if you're new to my channel welcome um, I hope you stick around a spell <laughs> if you like what you see please hit that subscribe button ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, <laughs> or there's an email at the bottom of all my video descriptions, and you can shoot me an email that way. Um, again, I am not sure how I'm going to handle this with her up here. And a lot of y'all know that when she wants to be up here, she's very demanding. You're not being very nice. And uh, there's a lot. Uh, so, and I, and I guess I decided that the best way to do it is I'm going to bring them up by tray. And so you'll see how I actually store my wood blocks. Um, and I actually have to order more. I actually have some on the way and because there's more, there'll be more coming. I have to order more, but to me, these are the best way to store my wood stamps and, um, so yeah, um, a lot of these, you may have found some of these in like the clings from Stampendous, but again, uh, for me, the platinum, not the gold standard, but the platinum standard for me is Stamparosa. And, um, if you're new to my channel, uh, I'm very fortunate, very blessed. One of my viewers, um, is a humongous uh, house mouse fan like me. However, she's been collecting a lot longer than I have. Remember, I fell in love with them when I would visit my grandmother's house and uh, she would let me stamp with hers. And so it was just something I always looked forward to going to my grandmother's house. And so it's just something I've always loved. And to me, house mouse always, um, I always tie Stamparosa to house mouse even though um, that particular brick and mortar store went out of business in the early 2000s. Um, and that's when Stampendous and Stampabilities picked them up. But I believe it's primarily just Stampendous now. So there's a lot of info in there. And um, a, a more history, um, Ellen Jarecki. She was a student in, uh, was it Harvard? She was a college student uh, in Vermont. I remember that. And uh, she was trying to figure out a way to make some money. She's a very shy person. And so her boyfriend at the time, they did eventually get married. They have separated, um, but they still work together. Uh, anywho, uh, she is an artist and she grew up with Matt mice. She loves mice. She rescues baby animals. Um, she's just really big into animals and rescue and all that, which y'all know I am very, you know, I'm all about rescues as well. Um, that's how, uh, Jean came into my daughter's life. If you're not familiar, I, not at the moment, but I am a foster for the South Texas Persian rescue, um, down here in the San Antonio area and they're an amazing rescue they bring they 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 work primarily with specialty breeds because most specialty breeds um have health issues and people aren't you know they just want it and they don't understand the how high maintenance they are the medical issues but anyway back to house mouse i just love house mouse but anyway, one of my viewers, Miss Maria, hi, Miss Maria, uh, she had reached out to me. She was looking to do some downsizing 
and she didn't know what to do with her house mouse collection and um, she had considered giving away. Then she researched and she found my channel, which I'm so thankful. She found one of my other house mouse videos and she reached out to me and I'm, I'm so thankful I have. I have another kindred soul when it comes to the ador this adorable mouse family and um, I am getting to rehome all the house mouse that uh, she's looking to let go and um, I'm not getting all of them. I'm probably getting it probably 80% of them and it's a lot. Um, and after I'm done, there will, down the road, there will be a video, um, where I, I haven't figured out how we're going to do it yet, but all the stamps she has left over, I'm going to feature on my channel, again, down the road. Uh, she and I will discuss between now and then the best way for people to reach out to her to, um, to arrange the, the pieces they want. Um, there are some that you guys may have seen me already bring in in the past but I picked them out for my sister because my sister loves house mouse too just not on the level that I do um so I picked out duplicates of ones I have because I know that she loved them when she was here and so I'm gifting those to her but there's still a lot of images that most of you have not seen and uh, yeah so let's get to it hopefully karma will cooperate there are quite a few here um, i'm gonna bring them up by tray so you're gonna kind of sneak peek them sneak peek them while they're up here but then i'm gonna bring them up close for you to actually see how wonderful they are um this is an image here that i know is out on a stampendous cling this is a design of the month june 2002 so we're talking 20 years old we're talking old stamps and uh, this one's called seaside fun and it's monica muzzy and mud pie and real quick monica is the baby that's her back there and that's muzzy muzzy has a little nick in his ear and that is mud pie and if you look he's looking in the little shell and there's a crab back here getting ready to pinch his, his tushy which I think is absolutely cute oh good she's gonna get down awesome so anyway there's that one and she sent me lots of sentiments I'm still trying to figure out which sentiments go to which some of them are obvious but um, some of them can be universal but so this says summer oh yeah not this one this says summertime slumber time which means it's going to go to something but I was trying to Tetris everything anywho so there's that one and I'm going to put it back please uh, I already messed up my Tetris or not this one I also believe is on a uh, Stampedness cling and this one is called are we there yet and I just think it is so cute um He's got the little doggy bone, and he's kind of directing him where he wants the puppy to go. And it's Maxwell, Monica, and Amanda. So there is Monica, Maxwell, and... No, I don't think that's right. I think, I think this is Amanda. Amanda's kind of like the mom of the mouse family. But, uh, super cute. You can see they're all in amazing condition. And, um, I meant to bring in the card. She included this adorable card that's now on my work, at, uh, on my desk at work. And she sent me another beautiful card, an action card. Um, so I think what I'll do is I will actually, if I can sneak a video on the community page, I may put it there because it's an action card, but she's, she's so talented and I just love what she does, uh, with, everything so anywho and also this this says sweet dreams so summertime slumber time and sweet dreams you don't have to use that this i'm not sure if it's on a cling or not but i think it's cute they all have crayons and uh that's probably maxwell yeah that's yeah that's maxwell 
Um, <laughs> he's getting ready to draw on the rock. And it's called A Cherished Rock. And it's Monica, Amanda, Mud Pie, and Maxwell. Oh, so that must be Amanda. Because if, if you pay attention to the images, uh, they do tend to be kind of sort of in the order. So Monica, um, Amanda, Mud Pie, and Maxwell, I think. But super cute. I think it's funny. Look, there's glitter on there. You can see that little bit of sparkle right there. Anywho. This one, I do believe, is also on a cling. And this is called Mellow Melon. And I think it is absolutely hilarious. They're all in little um, watermelon comas. And that is Mud Pie. So that's probably Maxwell there. This one's not, yeah, this one's not labeled. Obviously, Monica. Or Monica. Um, but anyway, he's, look, he's spitting a watermelon seed. There's some other cute ones. I think what I'm going to have to do is pull out all my house mouse. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to categorize them. So, like, cats or summer or spring, winter. Um, there's, there's a whole bunch of watermelon ones. There's a bunch of lemon ones, which are hilarious. So super cute. And you can see these are big stamps. And looks, uh, there we go. Thanks a melon. <laughs> this one I'm going to do next. This one is called Nutty Buddy. And there's Mud Pie because we know Mud Pie loves food. And he's got a nut there. And this is a tank. And you see there's fishies in there, but look at the lobster, and he's cracking the nuts for mud pie. And to me, that probably means friends help friends. This was an image that I had never seen before. And when I saw it, I was so excited. So there's that. And then the last one in this tray, this is called Mouse Sickles. And uh, it's Mud Pie, Monica, Muzzy, and Maxwell. So Mud Pie, again, he's got the nick in his ear, baby Monica, Muzzy, and Maxwell. Maxwell's kind of the adventurous one. And you see he's crawling out of the, there's ice in there. He's crawling out and he's trying to bite the top of, <laughs> of Muzzy's uh, popsicle. So there's the first tray. There's four trays. And a shoebox because I needed a safe place to put them till the other trays get here. They were supposed to get here today, but they're not getting here till tomorrow, but that's okay. All right. This one is full of pure adorableness and images I know most of y'all have never seen before. This is one I had never seen before, and this is the Design of the Month, January 2001, and it's called Tickle Fill. And um, there are other lines that Ellen does. There's there's Gruffies, there's Gruffies, and there's another line. I don't know what the other line is. I really don't follow them uh, because they pretty much just focus on different animals. Um, I only focus on the ones with the house mice. So this is Maxwell and Amanda. And as you can see, I'm going to say Phil. Phil is either a squirrel or a chipmunk. I'm going to say he's probably a squirrel because the chipmunks have stripes on their face. But as you can see, they're underground. Well, it's hard to see, but they're underground in his little burrow. And he's got a little bed here and a little lamp. And uh Maxwell he's it's hard to see he's got a feather in his in his paw and he's getting ready to tickle Phil just she's got the most amazing imagination um this one should actually be in a different tray but like I said I was um tetrising hope you're feeling better peace and joy to you obviously that's a holiday one then we have this one. Look at that. Look at Monica. She's got the little back of the carrot. And this is called Carrot Harvest. 
And uh, this is one that doesn't say, but it is from 1998. So we're talking 24 years old. There's carrots over here. They're all happy. They're heading off to, I guess, nibble on their carrots. So, so, so adorable. There's some other bunny ones, but this one says, hop, hop, hooray, have a good day. I was very fortunate to get a bunch of like individual mouse images, um, which Miss Maria, I don't know the one she's kept back. She's kept her favorites back, which if these are the ones she's letting go, I can only imagine what her favorites were that she held back. But um, she uses the little individual images to create the dioramas like I and I and I meant to bring it in here and I didn't. So I may just do a video showing you the stuff she does because it's just I love it. But anyway, uh, this is baby Monica and I think she's probably sleeping on a cotton ball. I think that's a cotton ball. She's so sweet. 1998. I think this is a cling as well. Um, or there's a different version of it. But it's called Christmas Tale. And it's Modica and Mud Pie. And Mud Pie is reading um, A Christmas Tale to Baby Monica. And what I love about Ellen's images, she is so detailed. Like... You got the book there. There's one here where there's a bird. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. I can't I can't wait to show you. So anyway, there's that. And then the sentiment to go with it. Just oh, love it, love it. And then we're gonna go over here. This was a new image to me. And um it is called Featherbed, and it's Muzzy, Maxwell, and Mud Pie. And so here's Muzzy. Maxwell, all you see is his little nose, and then there's Mud Pie over here yawning, and they're all just snug underneath the hen, the mama hen. This is a design of the month, April 2002. Just stinking adorable. I hadn't seen this until she sent me the images, and I was just like, oh my god, so cute. This one, I was really lucky. She gifted me this one. And, um, which is awesome because I have another one where the mice are actually on the piano doing their thing. So I think it's cute that there's a kitty here. And even though it's not a long hair, I'm probably going to color this one like Karma. Or I may attempt and color this one like El Suave. Y'all know I lost him two years ago. Two years ago now? No. no. November. Or December will be three years that I lost that sweet boy. Y'all know we lost him to cancer. It was so awful. So when I do this one, I'm either... Or I may do it twice and do a karma. Do a karma and an El Suave. But look at them. They're up there singing while the cute little mouse is playing tunes. Do, re, meow. <laughs> so Muzzy, Mud Pie, Amanda, and Monica. November 2000. This one might be on a cling. I can't remember. Um, it looks vaguely familiar. And it's called Something's Fishy. And um, Mud Pie is feeding the fishies and the kitten. If you look, depending, you know, when it gets colored, the paw is like just inside the top. This was an image that I hadn't seen. So cute. And it's called Pampered. And it's Amanda. Remember, Amanda's the, the little mom mouse. Um, I think it's funny that up here where all the makeup brushes and everything, there's like a little rope bed that the cat sits on. But, uh, you know, Karma kind of gets whatever she wants. So there's that. And then here's this cute. It's good to be pampered. This one is from 2001. Oh, 
and then there was this one what's happening hot stuff and there's one um that will be coming up that has hot peppers which there's lots of them with hot peppers because it, like i said her imagination is just phenomenal here we go um i guess i'll start over here we know this is on a cling and i know i have it on a cling um, but I don't even count my images on a cling when it comes to Stampa Rosa. Um, my goal someday <laughs> is to own every single Stampa Rosa image that has ever been put out. Um, like I said, I'm working with my husband uh, to design a way to store them. Like this is nice, but you know, again, I still have to lift through them. But a storage system for these to go in and slide out. And then like a shelf system on the wall. And I can rotate them out. So. But this is Mud Pie and Maxwell. And it's called Funny Face. And this is this is Mud Pie and this is Maxwell. Because Maxwell has the little curly tail. Um, she comes up with a way to identify. I don't know. Is there... I'm not sure if there's a specific identifier for Amanda. Um, Maxwell, again, like I said, it's the curly tail. Mud Pie has the little nick in his ear. Monica, she's the baby. And I know Amanda, I believe, is bigger than Muzzy. This was an image I hadn't seen before. And it's called Bottle Time. And it's Monica and Amanda. Is that not the sweetest? Love it. So, so, so sweet. This one I think is on a cling. And it's called Candy Cane Cruising. So, the, I guess there's some really good winds going on right now. because uh, Or there's a hurricane and the candy cane's kind of keeping them from flying away. But that is Muzzy, Amanda, and Monica. Cute, cute. Have yourself a playful holiday. Here's one of the lemon ones. I know I have this on a cling. And it's called Lemonade Bubbles. Super, super sweet. And um, when life throws you lemons, blow some bubbles. We have a thanks very much, and it goes in another tray, but so there's that. Face painters, and it doesn't really look like it in the image, but of course you can paint their faces because um, Maxwell, he's got the paintbrush in his hand, and Amanda is holding the mirror. Face paint, face paint, August 2001. This was a new one to me. If you look closely, look, there's a little parakeet. Ah! When I was a little girl, we had a parakeet, and his name was Bird. <laughs> um, he adored my mother. Um, he would come to all of us, but he adored my mother. She'd be cleaning the house, and he would he would sit on her shoulder or on her head. Um, it's called Tea Tubs. Monica Mud Pie. Maxwell, Amanda, and friend. So any, sometimes there's other mice and they'll be referred to as friends as well. Cute, cute. Oh, like I said, Tetris. Um, you decorate my life with color. So that could be this one here. And this is a Design of the Month 2001, and it's called Mousterpiece Makers. And this is all five of them. Muzzy, Amanda, Mud Pie, Maxwell, and Monica. And so it looks like what a lot of us do, we repurpose containers. Um, so here's a baby Amanda up here, and it looks like she's chewing or licking the end of a brush. There's Maxwell. Um, there's Mud Pie up there. So that's probably Amanda and Muzzy.
Or maybe it's this one. Anywho, life is a masterpiece, just waiting to be painted. Okay, these next two, I'm sure y'all have never seen, and I just about flipped. This one is funny. This is the one I mentioned earlier, and it is called Flying Lessons with Muzzy. So if you look closely, it's hard to see here, but the baby bird has the wing bandaged to its body, and <laughs> he wrote, new proverb, do not look backward while you are flying forward. <laughs> I about died laughing when I saw this. Um, so like I said, she sent me like groupings, like an image with a bunch of them. Um, so a lot of them I could tell like I didn't have, but in those, you know, it's hard to actually see all the little bits of detail. So sweet. This is another one. This is a squirrel. And it is called Natural Remedies with Muzzy and Amanda. And there's a squirrel. Look, he's sitting on a box of gauze bandages. And Muzzy is up here. He's holding the stethoscope. And Amanda's listening. And there's little bits of medicine around here. Super, super sweet. All right. One more tray. And then it'll be the... The shoe box. A lot of talking. I gotta get a drink. Sorry. My mouth is so dry. Okay. This one is full of cuteness. There's uh, one in here. I'm pretty certain most of you all have never seen. Um, the rest of them are like the individual. The bulk of them are individual images. Um but it's full of cuteness. Here's the one I'm sure none of y'all have seen. It is from 1998 and it's called No Cheese, Please. And they're trying to fish with cheese with the goldfish. Um, it says, A Book of Fairy Tales. And there's a little block there, Swiss cheese. Um, life of and something the you know, but yeah, she's so detailed in what she does. So, so, so cute. This one I know most of y'all have seen as a Stampendous or it's a Stamp Abilities. I'm not sure. And it's called Showing Her Colors. And look, even Monica, she's got her hand over her, her heart. Just sweet, sweet. Uh, like I said, there's a bunch of lemon ones. Come on. Like I said, Tetris. And this is called Pucker Power. <laughs> Friends of Maxwell. So these aren't even Maxwell. These are his some of his friends. But look at that. His mouth is, <laughs> you know, that when you get that real tart lemon. And it looks like there's cherries too. <laughs> then we have this one. It's called Family Feeling. Mud Pie, Monica, and Muzzy. Cute, cute. I'm hooked on your friendship. Um, this one, I, I believe, is on a cling, and it's Design of the Month, March 2002, and it's called Wake Up. And Maxwell and Muzzy... Poor Muzzy's just napping, and Maxwell, he's about to pop the balloon with a tack. Come on. This is on a cling, Peace on Earth. Muzzy, Monica, and Maxwell. Look, and they're sitting on a globe. Uh, I know I got a duplicate of this because I know my sister would love it, and it's called Fashion Statement. And Amanda is putting little ornaments on the cute little hedgehog. Aww. And the rest of these are littles. So this is Mud Pie is Stuffed. I noticed there's lots of images with um, gumdrops. <laughs> gumdrops and jelly beans. So there's that. 
This is kind of like taken, um, she's notorious for like having scenes and then she'll take like images from those scenes. And I know this is from a larger stamp and it's called Monica Romances. Cute little heart. And then we have Amanda and Friend. So another little baby. Oh, darn it. So it must go there and they must go there. Yep. This is Mud Pie, I can tell by the ear. Little Monica. Oh, nope, just a friend. And then this is called Contented Mud Pie. Because, you know, he's got a full tummy. So why not? Oh. Gotta get them in there. Well, she'll sit there for now. This is Groovy Mud Pie. He almost looks like, you know those Tom and Jerry uh, cartoons and um, Tom is always ch chasing Jerry and Jerry might run into like a drum so Tom just starts beating on it and Jerry just starts like vibrating across. That's what that reminds me of. <laughs> All right, this is Mud Pie, and he is conducting something. Maxwell, he's raising his hand. Amanda, she's just kind of sitting there patiently, kind of like, she's listening, and he's probably got some silly question. This one, I know, is from uh, one of the coffee bean stamps. <laughs> And it's Hyper Mouse, and it's a friend. Um, I know I have one of the coffee scenes, but I didn't bring it because, like I said, I'm only showing the new ones. Then we have, oh, i got to turn off my alarm. I believe these are both Maxwell. Yeah, they're both Maxwell because, again, the curly tail. So he's just got different poses. And the last one for this tray, and this is Mud Pie. Again, the little, the neck here. Excuse me, I'm sorry. There we go. Okay. That's all my trays. So I'm going to kind of move them over to the side. I'm going to grab my shoe box. I'm going to bring them up one at a time. Some of y'all may have seen this one. This is called Baby Shoes. And it is from 1999. And I think it's just random. But is that not sweet? Look at the babies. And this one, I can't tell if she's chewing on the shoe or she's just looking over. A lot of y'all know um, this is a fra fa favorite, favorite of mine because I adore thist thistles. Uh, my husband is Scottish and I'm Irish, so I have a little uh, attachment to thistles. And this is little Monica and it's called Napping on a Thistle. So, oh, just cuteness galore. Oh, that cherry stamp goes to this one and this is Cherry's Jubilee. And of course, it's Mud Pie. He's getting it. He's taking, <coughs> like, most of them just one bite out of the cherries and a few. Well, actually, it looks like he may have, I don't know. But he's happy. And he's inside the cherry jar. <laughs> this one is cute. Um, I've seen the colored version of it. It is absolutely adorable. And it's called Eating Blueberries. And the colored image is, oh my gosh. And, um... The colored image around the baby's mouth, it's kind of like blue because <laughs> they're being messy with their blueberries. And this is 1998. You'll notice her older mice, um, her older mice, the more, the ones like from the beginning, they look a lot different than the current characters. Um, 
I may try to hunt down some images and share with y'all and see how her characters evolved. Pretty sure some of y'all seen this one. This is called All Fired Up. And it is Mud Pie. This is July 2002, Design of the Month. Jalapeno. Cute, cute. This is Walking the Light Rope. L-I-G-H-T. And this is Monica and Friends. So there's Monica. She's got friends behind her. And they're walking the Christmas lights. And they're using the candy canes to balance. <laughs> Alright. I'm trying to save like images you probably haven't seen for last. This one you might have. This is called Lovin' Mouseful, and it's Mud Pie and Amanda. And they're in a little container of um, Valentine heart candies. And look, he's got one. Be mine. <laughs> Kiss me. And then all the little nibbled hearts down there. And then this is Have a Micey Nice Valentine's Day. Let's see. Okay, this I may have seen on a cling, but I'm not sure. It's called, oh yeah, Pickin' and Grinnin'. He's sitting, again, mud pie, on a pile of gumdrops, and he's using toothpicks to get it out of his teeth. This is 1998. Uh, put that there. The last three I don't think y'all have seen. And then I have some sentiments and I'll share those in a minute. I think I may have left some in another tray. I think I have because I had, I was trying to get them all in a tray and I know I had one that was partially full. I'm not going to go get them. This is called Bewitching Pumpkins, and this, I think, is on a cling, but this was the first time I've seen it on a Stamper Rosa. This is Mud Pie Muzzy, Monica, and Amanda. So there's Mud Pie, there's Muzzy, there's Monica and Amanda up there. They got little hats on. I think maybe they're trying to be witches, I'm not sure, but look, in a little baby pumpkin. And it's called Bewitching Pumpkins. And this is 2002. I guess I'll stick it up there. <sighs> Y'all. I've loved frogs for as far back as I can remember. And I will try to remember at the end to tell you a frog story about my mother, which... I still chuckle when I think of this. Um, and I think I got my... Well, no, because I always chased tadpoles and stuff when I was little. Anywho, this is called Giddy Up, and it's baby Monica on a little, little toy frog. Yes. Yes. And the last one. If I go to the other tray and I see that I missed a few, I will probably pull those out and just share them with the next batch. I'm not going to do a whole nother video. This is called Amanda Shines. And <laughs> check her out. She's admiring herself in a little compact case. I've never seen this one before. This is 1999. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just, uh, I can't even, just the cuteness overload. The only thing cuter in the house than all of this is my sweet baby Karma. We know how much I love her. And then she added these sentiments, but stuff kind of got a little junk, um, jumbled, uh, in the shipping. She was amazing. She was amazing with the shipping. I mean, and she went above and beyond the packing, but you know, you know, 
this was kind of, this was a heavy box. I mean, you see all this wood. Um, I actually had my husband bring it upstairs for me. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to finish up with the sentiment. So your friendship puts music in my heart. So that one can go with, um, I think it was, what was it? Maxwell and he's conducting. And then the one where the cute kitty is, uh, playing the piano. And then there's one where like they're singing. So there's that. Hope you're on the mend. Have a spirited holiday. Wind up for a wonderful birthday. So right there, you get it wind up. It's a little wind up toy. <laughs> uh, where'd she go? Your beauty comes from within. How many of us need a positivity like that in our life? Or we have some beautiful young girl who, you know, you know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, so, so sweet. And the last one. New baby in the house. And this can be used with a couple of the baby ones. Um, my niece, they're expecting in October. So, I think I'm doing a house mouse card for her. Yeah. So that's it. That is my latest edition. Um, my house mouse Stampa Rosa editions. And I'm telling you, I, I did leave some good ones. Uh, they were ones that I had duplicates of. Um, and there were a few I just didn't go ahead and pick, pick up because you can find them readily, like if you go on eBay. But I figured... Um, even if I got them at the better price with Miss uh, Maria, I, I just felt that, um, I would leave them. So towards the end, there's more for y'all to, to choose through. Should you choose to acquire some and, um, add them to your mouse family. So that's, that's it. That's it. Um, Again, Miss Maria, I, I just, I can't thank you enough. It's, it's just happiness. Just tons of happiness. So, my mom and frogs. <laughs> so, my mom, I want to say this, this, so, she... Her family, so my grandfather, and they kind of, they grew up in the, um, Snohomish, not the Snohomish, Redding area. So like the Mount Shasta area, if you're familiar with that part of California. And we had a family reunion up there. It was so beautiful. Um, but I don't know if this story happened in Northern California or if it happened in Oregon. Um, she went to Tigard. A high school in Oregon. Anyway, somewhere, oops, somewhere in that region of the United States. <laughs> My mom was little, so I guess she was probably four or five. She adores frogs as much, if not probably more than I do. And because she loved them so much, she thought everybody else loved them too. <laughs> And I guess my grandparents had friends over and mom loved them, liked them so much that she wanted to give them something. <laughs> um, she, she collected a bunch of frogs and put them in their car. <laughs> they weren't happy. And my understand, understanding is they never went back to my grandparents' house. <laughs> and I was like, why did you do that? And my mom's like, well, I love frogs and I like them. So, um, I gave them some frogs. <laughs> Y'all, little kids are the best. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I've run my mouth long enough. It is absolutely cotton dry. So I'm going to cut it here. Again, questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, or shoot me an email, again, which is down at the bottom of the description. 
area. And, um, yeah, <laughs> again, you know, the, the, the purpose of these videos is mainly to share with y'all all the amazing images out there. And I know there are still some that I've never seen. Um, and that's beyond what Miss Maria has shared with me in images. Um, the next one I will probably order around the 15th, which means it'll be closer to the end of the month when those get here. So it'll be probably at least three weeks, three to four weeks before the next batch comes in. And I think what I'll do with that one is I will record it to play over 4th of July weekend because I'll be out on the ocean somewhere. So, I love y'all to pieces. Hopefully, y'all adore this adorable mouse family as much as I do and Miss Maria does. And, um, I'll see y'all later. Happy crafting. Bye.